Hello guys, and thanks for taking a look at the uh, video. This is a video for the uh, wiring uh, routing for my Align T-Rex 500 Pro DFC with the uh, 3GX uh, fly wireless system. That's all a mouthful, isn't it? Um, I decided to do a video on this to show you my wiring. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, I, it's probably the best that I could do being uh, an absolute novice in these things. Uh, I try to find uh, information online and other videos posted by other uh, builders as to uh, how they uh, chase their wiring through and couldn't really find an awful lot. Two websites are good for you before building the uh, helicopter. Take a look at, uh, I think it's my Kyosho. Um, if you just uh, go on to YouTube and uh, have a look and if you type in uh, T-Rex 500 build uh, you'll see the guy on there. Uh, Freddy Can Fly uh, is another good website, uh, or good YouTube uh, videos and they all show you how to build this uh, right from scratch. Obviously look at the manual and tell you everything that you need to know in there, make sure you've got all the right bits. Um, but uh, no one seems to tell you about wiring and how to wire your helicopter uh, apart from one which I later found uh, again from Freddy Can Fly and he suggests that you do all your wiring pre putting the uh, frames together so he suggests that you uh, before all the frames actually together you put your wiring on one side which is a great idea but if you build the helicopter like I did um, <clears throat> As per the manual, you're left to all your wiring later. And so, of course, most of that goes uh, on the outside. So if you built your helicopter, like the manual suggested, and you're in a position like I am, thinking about where am I going to put the wires, uh, then uh, perhaps uh, this will help. My speed controller is uh, down underneath here, underneath the battery plate. It faces, well, I say faces that way. You can see that the motor wires are hanging out the bottom there. They'll go into the motor uh, connectors at the bottom. My motor faces forward. Some people have put their speed controls on the outside here. I don't know how they've done that because the wires just aren't long enough. Uh, uh, but in any case, uh, that's how I did mine. And it seems to work very well. Um, coming up to the top here, speed controller. Obviously, the uh, power for the speed controller is up the top here. I've got uh, four mil gold connectors on my battery. So... Um, that's what I've got uh, on the uh, speed controller, and I soldered uh, those on myself. What a big boy. Uh, I've got two ailerons at the front here, which are the, uh, if I remember rightly, elevator on the right, pitch on the left. The aileron servo wires with the uh, speed controller uh, signal wire it comes out of the top here. Uh, I've used some uh, uh, sort of oversized, um, what is it? Uh, shrink tubing uh, down here uh, and some black tape for two reasons really aesthetics uh, but mo most importantly uh, because the helicopter gets a lot of vibration to prevent any chafing along the carbon frame sharp areas here um, they do recommend that you sand it down I must admit I didn't I preferred this method uh, and then they go out through the back here through the side of the heli into the back of the 3GX system here which I've mounted this way so I can get access to the wires uh, the what is it tail gyro tail um, uh, servo is here uh, again some oversized um, uh, shrink tubing up around the back and in through the channel of wires here you may have noticed that I've kept the wires pretty loose here that's because with the vibration of the heli if you have these two tight and all bound together the vibration has got to go somewhere and it'll end up going in the back of the system here through the plugs and you don't want them shaking around so uh, vibration like a lot of things choose the path of least resistance uh, so that it can have the wires if it wants um, so that is the speed control, the two front servos, and obviously the uh, gy the uh, uh, I don't know, I have a problem with this one, the uh, rudder uh, servo. Uh, the pitch one, uh, same. Oh, sorry, uh, the pitch one, same sort of thing here. Uh, that's just in through the back. Uh, and if I will turn the helicopter round uh, for you, so uh, you can see that uh, a little bit better. I'll just just whack myself in the face with the tail boom uh, right so uh, on the left on the right hand side of the heli here you've uh, got the side click uh, that comes down and all I've done here is I've just looped it within itself tied some black tape around it and then I'll and then into the back of the uh, into the gyro uh, my, I run two satellite receivers one mounted vertically one mounted horizontally you might have seen the other one on the other side from the other picture um, I can tell you I was getting a lot of problems with these just flashing saying that there's a temporary uh, problem with the signal the reason for that I think was because you see these wires here and the same on the other side um, I tucked them underneath here onto the uh, base of the heli 
and I wrap them all together like this uh, wrap them bound them together basically it's one bunch underneath and then up to the uh, separate uh, separate plugs uh, in here I think that was causing some interference and that was what's causing them. I don't know for sure it might just be a weird thing that I had but uh, if you've done what I did and that's put these wires together take them apart make them separate bind them like this on each side of the heli take them up to their channels and that's when they I think you'll have more success that way it does say in the manual to make sure that the uh, receivers are at least five centimeters apart or something like that um, which they are but of course the wires are bound together so that may have been uh, my problem okay so just a quick look at the back of the servo uh, back of the 3gx system then all the uh, servos uh, wires uh, tucked in the back there uh, you've got on the left hand side of the helicopter the um, the run there for the two front servos and the uh, uh, speed and oops that's not very good is it and the uh, speed controller uh, uh, wire here uh, so that's that's basically it I mean I, I don't know what else to say um, you might look at this and go gosh that just looks like a Horlix um, it works for me and uh, it might just give you some direction and then uh, perhaps when you're putting your heli together uh, you'll find a better way of doing it if you do please post it please let me know i'll be glad to hear from you um as i say i'm a complete novice with this it's only the second helicopter i've built in fact the first one was built for me and then i ended up just repairing it most of the time as you do the helicopters that's how i learned with that before i bought this be careful uh, with your. Uh, I'll find it now. Um, be careful with your speed control. If you mount it the way that I have, with the signal wire at the top, um, be careful not to get too close to your pinion. Uh, that uh, cog there that comes out of the motor um, uh, spline. The the speed control that's supplied with it, the 70 amp speed control, it gets pretty uh, tight um, to the um you know to that drive there and as do the uh as do the wires that can sort of come out the top so just make sure then that you be absolutely sure that none of those are going to get anywhere near that uh and that's uh and that will that will save you a lot of money i guess and just tie up these uh, uh here as well because what i've done is i've rooted them uh down the uh, it's a rubbish camera i'm really sorry about this uh, but basically, uh, I've routed the sent the wire here from the speed controller uh, and the two servo wires. I've routed them down the left-hand side of the heli. It's what I showed you earlier on that went inside and outside of the of the heli. Uh, you've just got to make sure that it's well away from your uh, your main shaft here. The shaft obviously goes down into the heli here. Um, my big fat fingers in the way but uh, yeah if you've got big fat fingers it's not easy with this helicopter uh, and i can recommend uh that uh, that you get yourself uh, a pair of these um one couple of other things you will not have enough um thread lock because they supply you with a bottle like this uh and actually it doesn't look too different now to when i got it uh, that's how little you get um obviously i've used it now but you really don't get a lot. You end up having to cut the top off to try and get the last dregs of it out. Um, some of the professionals on there will go, well, that's plenty. You're obviously putting too much on. But, you know, I don't think I, I did. And I followed all the instructions really carefully. So I got myself uh, another um, bottle because uh, I needed it. You don't get any Sino glue with it either or CA glue, whatever you want. You can use, uh, whoops, you can use Zapper Gap. Uh, I used the medium uh, viscosity. Oh, viscosity is very sticky, isn't it? Um, I use medium uh, thickness uh, glue. Uh, you need that uh, for the bearing and the mount that goes inside here. And you'll need it for your canopy mounts. And you'll need it for your uh, skid ends. Um, that's all you'll need it for. So one bottle uh, is going to be enough. Um, make sure you've got a full set of drives as well um, I decided uh, to get myself the Align uh, drives which uh, you know, I've obviously got the heads on the various sides so that's all you'll need for the heli um, and uh, get yourself some of these as well these uh, I can't you know, I can't get this uh, these will help you remove your ball links because there's a lot of adjusting to do to make sure that you've got your swash plate um, absolutely level that's really important um, 
Right, one other thing uh, to help you, other than just the wiring, uh, you know where to go to online. There's plenty of videos on how to build this thing. Mine was just about the wiring. And uh, you'll also go into your setup there and you'll set your end limits, you'll set your uh, reverses to make sure that it's uh, stabilizing the right way. And obviously, at some point, you're going to come on to do the tail. This is a, for me, was I had a problem with this. Um, instructions are really simple, but it doesn't kind of tell you what really rate means and what heading hold means and all that stuff. Again, plenty of stuff online to have a look at, guys, but there's one thing that was missing which. Uh, just came as a very quick comment uh, online uh, when someone was talking about uh, heading hold and uh, rate mode etc if you're when you're setting this up and you do your end limits and stuff um, and you want to make sure this is working correctly I was finding on my transmitter that I was flicking uh, to the left and it was just staying to the left I went to the right it was staying to the right or just moving slightly back and forth the slider was really moving but not really uh, centering uh, itself you know like where it is now um, don't worry about that that means the gyro is working as it should you've put a right um, command in or a left command in uh, and the helicopter well then the gyro as you move the tail will then you know center itself look you're talking about gyro and tail rotor um, physics here I don't really understand it but if you if you get um, that thing and you set it up and you and you're flicking your uh, your you know your rudder channel around you're going like this and normally it would center well it won't if you've got a lot of gyro gain in there. Basically, you're in heading mode. And on a DX8, you know, around sort of 75% and stuff or 80%, which is quite a lot for heading hold, it won't. It won't do that. It won't come back to center. So what I did on my uh, transmitter is I put a minus in uh, setting one, uh, which is just here, zero. Uh, I might be able to show you that quickly. I'm getting myself all drawn into something I wasn't, didn't really want to talk about here, but... Oh, I'll just uh, show you that. Just give me just two seconds. Uh, get yourself into here, uh, into gyro. Oh God, into gyro, and there you go. Look, um, what minus forty there for rate, and then uh, seventy percent for uh, one and two. Uh, I've just put those together for them. I haven't flown the helicopter yet, so I don't know how these are going to work out. But basically, it's a minus number. You, you, it's not going to be holding the heading. And then when you flick your um, rudder left and right, well, that's going to work exactly how you expect it. It will centre. But if you've got positive gain on there, 40, 50, 60, it won't centre. So don't worry about that. Um, that's probably as clear as mud uh, to you as it was to me. But anyway, I figured it out now. And uh, so... Uh, once you've got that figured out and you've got it all set up and you you know you're, you're, it's not centering uh, then you know why there you go that's my heli hope you've uh, hope you uh, thought well thank you for looking at the video uh, please leave me any tips um, or things that might be able to help me if you've built your heli and um, you know want to pass anything on to me that'll be great uh, but hopefully if it's your first time building you're looking to uh, put your wires somewhere then um, hopefully uh, this helps